Welcome to another of our Open the Book stories. Today we have another of our surprising stories from the Bible. Last time, Jesus told Martha to stop worrying about doing the housework and to spend time with him, learning about the important things in life. Today, Jesus tells a story to help people understand what really is and what really isn't important. And there's a big surprise in, the store, in store for the man in the story. In the story, there's a line uh, which you can repeat if you want to. And it goes something like this. The, the farmer in the story says, mine, all mine. I wonder if you could do that too. Mine, all mine. So as you go through the story, listen out for that line and join in with the farmer. So let us open the book to the Bible story called The Greedy Farmer. Once upon a time, there was a rich man who spent his whole life thinking about how he could get richer. One morning, the rich man who owned a farm walked from his house to his fields. He looked at his crops and rubbed his hands together greedily. He climbed to the top of his biggest barn and looked out across the farm. Mine, all mine. Mine, all mine. Work harder. He ordered his servants who were loading grain sack after sack in the hot sun. I'm very rich, but I would like to be richer. He said to himself. The next week, he walked from his house to his fields. He looked at his crops and rubbed his hands together greedily. Mine, all mine. Mine, all mine. He climbed to the top of his biggest barn and looked out across the farm. Shoo! He screamed at some birds that had swooped down and started to peck at the grain. This is mine, all mine. Mine, all mine. And you can't have any of it. Another week went by. The rich man walked from his house to his fields. He looked at his crops and rubbed his hands together greedily. Mine, all mine. Mine, all mine. He climbed to the top of his biggest barn and looked out across the farm. Stop me! He shouted to a poor man who had stopped to pick up some grain which had accidentally spilled on the floor. The poor man had a wife and three children to feed and nothing to eat. You have to find another way to feed your family. This is mine, all mine, and you can't have any of it. The rich man walked home. He thought long and hard about his grain. It's spilling out. The birds are eating it. Poor people are coming to steal the grain that's spilling out of the door. And I can't allow that to happen. That grain is mine, all mine. Mine, all mine. Hmm, what should I do? The next morning, the rich man walked from his house to the fields. Hey! Stop working, put down your tools and come over here. The servants put down their shovels in surprise. Hmm, this barn isn't big enough. I want you to pull it down. Yes, pull it down and build a bigger one. Oh, and when you're finished, you can start to build a second one. I have tons and tons of grain and I'm going to store it all and sell it. And I'll be rich, rich beyond my wildest dreams. Day after day, the rich man went to his fields to watch the servants building his enormous barns. He made sure that no one came by to take so much as a handful of his precious grain. At last, the barns were finished. The rich man walked home. He thought long and hard about his life. I have so much that I'll never need to work again. In the morning, I'll go out and buy myself some fine clothes. I'll order in the best food and crates of the best wine. I'm going to have a wonderful time spending all my money. 
and it's mine. All mine! Mine! All mine! But that very night, the man died in his sleep. No one mourned and no one wept for the man who had all the riches in the world, but who kept them all to himself. As Jesus finished the story, he looked around. Don't be like that man. People like that can never please God. Being rich won't make you happy, and being selfish is always a bad choice in the end. Did you spot the surprise? After all his hard work, the farmer didn't live long enough to enjoy all the money he had made. Not so much a surprise as a nasty shock. The farmer was selfish and greedy. He had far more than he needed and wouldn't share what he had with anyone else, even the really poor people. So let's close our eyes and think about those words from the story. By storing up riches for himself, he forgot all about the really important things in life. And now let's think about this. If being rich isn't important, then what is? Now I'm going to say a prayer and if you want to make it your prayer, say Amen at the end after me. Dear God, please help us to know what is really important in life and what isn't. And help us not to be like the greedy farmer, but to share what we have with others. Amen. Well, thank you for listening with us today and uh, look out for another story coming to you soon.